So our focus today will be on legs. Here we're doing hamstring curls with the resistant band. If you want the resistance to be stronger, just move away from the cable. And here where the way I do it is I hit the outer, then I close my legs together and hit the inner. And I count that as one rep. Try to feel the tension, squeeze it like you're squeezing biceps in a bicep curl. Slow, controlled. Here we're gonna move into the closed feet squat. The three second negative or the centric portion of it. The whole time you wanna to try to think about my muscle connection and squeeze your quads and hamstrings and glutes. Here, we'll show you the same thing from a different angle. Nice and slow and controlled. Make sure you're breathing correctly. Here we go into the full body squat. You want to get a little air, but in a basement for me, I'm too tall. I'm trying to keep my head down. But you want to explode and then you want to jump and you want to hit on your tippy toes because it's dangerous if you hit the floor flat footed. Here we go straight into the wide deep squat. Again, this whole thing is a circuit. So you do every exercise, 25 reps and you tr try to get as many rounds as you can. Give yourself a time. So let's say 20 minutes, I want to complete this whole thing, three rounds. It's very, very effective. I did it today. So you can totally get a good leg workout at home. No equipment necessary. Here, are the alternating lunges. Our focus here is gonna be on the quads on the front. So you don't want your knee to pass your toes. And here you don't want your other knee to touch the ground. You wanna keep the tension constantly on the hamstring. You want constant tension throughout the whole movement. Here I'm showing it to you from the other angle. And the other leg. Do it nice and slow and controlled. Make sure the time under tension is there. Mind muscle connection is there. Don't just wing it. Once you're done with this whole workout, your leg should feel wobbly. If it doesn't, then you gotta bring your intensity. Here we do stair setup with abs. We're going to do 25 on each leg. You want to keep your legs tight. So on one leg, the resistance is going to be there mostly. So we're focusing on just one leg right now. And then abs and obliques at the same time. When you bring your knee up to the chest, you want to blow all your air out and you want to contract your abs. Squeeze them, hold them tight. Here we grab a resistant band, make sure it's nice and secure. And we can do some RDLs, remaining deadlifts. This is gonna focus the hamstrings. If you want more resistance, you wanna pull back so the resistance can pull you and make it tougher on the hamstrings. Nice and controlled. Get about 25 reps of this. Squeeze when you come to the top. And there you go. Always make sure you log your workout if you really want to see some results because you want to have a progress. You want to have something to gauge what you've been doing and has it worked. And how have you improved if you have improved? 
So I always try to keep everything logged. Here you want to stand straight like a deadlift, we're going to do traditional deadlift with the resistance. You want to make sure you squeeze back, glutes, back, everything, abs tight. Explode on the way up, just like a deadlift.